Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about shortcuts. We're going to talk about why they're important, what are the most common ones, and how we can really use them. The This quick reference card that I gave you at the beginning of the semester, which you can also find again in the course document section of your Blackboard account, is for SketchUp 8, but it's very applicable to the newer versions of SketchUp. It shows you a lot of the symbols and shortcuts, and it shows you what the tools are called and some common shortcuts to those tools. So if you click the E key, you get the eraser tool, the L key, the line tool, the A key, the arc tool. Again, some of these shortcuts you will use a lot and some of these shortcuts you won't use very often and some of them you will use every moment of every day because it's just so much easier. Those ones are really these spring-loaded shortcuts that are your mouse shortcuts. I'm also going to confess to you in full disclosure that the idea of shortcuts is actually heavily debated. Uh, some people say that shortcuts are really easy and some people say that they're terrible and they never like to use them and they're, they're actually not quicker. And there is some truth to that. I am very firmly in the shortcut zone. I am on that team. Uh, however, there is some validity to the non-shortcut team. And a lot of times in my videos, you will still, still see me come over to this bar and click on one item. And that's if I'm using it one moment, one at a time. It's very useful to go back to the toolbar and grab the tool I need. But if I know the shortcut, and it's easily accessible and pretty right in the front of my mind, I'm going to use it. And that is actually the exact point of debate. If the shortcut is not in the forefront of your mind, if the shortcut is not easy for you to remember, it is cumbersome. And that cumbersome use actually slows you down. You actually have a second of pause before you hit the correct button where your brain is trying to access that information and trying to wrap itself around what it's supposed to be doing. So when you're trying to remember that the pan tool is H and you're like, but it's the pan tool, it should be P. And you forget that it looks like a hand. I'm gonna not gonna lie, this is the one that happens to me all the time that when I forget it's H for hand, then I don't have an easy time remembering where to go. However, the hand tool is also a very common navigation tool, so it's hold shift and press middle button down. But this shortcut and not holding shift for the orbit tool are two I forget rather often. I just hold the shift button and pan and then let go if I'm getting the wrong movement on the screen. So I don't necessarily know every shortcut like the back of my hand and you don't have to for your use of these shortcuts to be really efficient if i grab uh the ones you're going to use the most are your navigation ones which are the ones we've covered before rolling your mouse wheel holding shift and pressing your mouse wheel and just pressing your mouse wheel for orbit orbit pan and zoom are those are those three the they are also spring load loaded commands, which means that whatever tool you currently have selected doesn't go away. You add this additional movement on top of it, and then the old c command or old tool comes back when you're done. Which means you, if you look at my cursor right now, it's an arrow. It's the selection tool, and I press down on the wheel and orbit. When I let go, the selection tool comes back. If I have the move tool on my hand, these four hour arrows right here, and I do the same thing, mouse wheel down, over, and back, the move tool comes back. And that's also very useful because if I grab the selection tool with the space bar, double click, triple click rather, on this unit so I get the whole thing, grab my move tool, click, and I clicked and let go. So right now I'm engage the move tool but I don't have to hold anything down and then I push the wheel down to orbit like this you can see that that component is still selected right that's because I still have it in my hand I still have the move tool active it doesn't go away and I can set this down somewhere else and it's I still have the move tool active. It's still selected. It's still in the move tool. My navigational controls don't interrupt my tool. Other shortcuts do interrupt. If I hit spacebar, 
I am in a different tool now. And when I click on this, I'll end up clicking one surface instead of the whole thing. And now when I try and triple click, I may get other things it's touching. It's on a component right now, so of course I'm not getting anything else. But these navigation commands, because they're spring-loaded, are very useful. So it's, it's nice to be able to use these commands in conjunction with each other so that you're using them very efficiently. Because shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts, are actually very useful when you're, for instance, using them all the time, or you're using ones you know very well, such as copy and paste. These are the same, of course, in every program that you work on. So you select an object and hit control C, it is now copied. Control V will paste it. And if you hit control X, it'll cut it. So now it's pasted, but the original is deleted and you can paste with control V. Uh, I'll do the cut again on this one. Control X, control V to paste. So these duplication methods, of course, are the same in Word, Excel, and almost all computer programs. And they're the same in this one. So they're ones you probably already know. So sometimes I may forget to tap the Control key when I'm moving an item. And I'll instead just Control V, Control, control C, Control V, because it's something I am really used to doing. Uh, in other programs and because it's quicker for my brain to access that's much faster than um, the one I'm used to also my Windows Explorer is restarting if you'll forgive that um, so the so these shortcuts so the spring-loaded shortcuts shortcuts that are in your brain are easy to remember and ones that you're going to use over and over again are easy to remember if you only need to use a tool once it is experimentally proven that there is no difference between accessing a shortcut and moving your mouse to the toolbar and clicking on something. If I just need to draw one line, it's not a big deal for me to go and take that one line. However, if you're going to access a tool over and over and over again, it's really useful to use a shortcut. The move tool, the spacebar or selection tool, the move tool with the M key, and for me the push-pull tool with the P key are the ones I use all the time are the ones I use the most in addition to of course the navigation tools on my mouse so these three are the ones I know really well I know the eraser tool and it's easy for me to remember and I also know the rectangle tool and it's easy for me to remember because again it's the R and the E and they're very close to each other in the keyboard and to where I keep my uh, hand the offset tool I often forget is the F key and I don't use that one quite often enough for it to be worth remembering but one of the ones that I do use a lot and we will use a ton in this project is the follow me tool and that's how we create all this molding but the follow me tool doesn't have a setup shortcut and in fact, when I record your videos later, I have to keep going back to the toolbar because the follow me tool, did, I did not have a shortcut set up for it. But in later versions of SketchUp, you can set up a shortcut. To do that, you go to Window, Preferences, and in this selection of preferences, you have shortcuts. Now you can search all of these and you can find anything in SketchUp that is creatable can have a shortcut. But instead of searching, I'm going to I'm going to type in the filter section, follow. Well, I don't even need to finish it. And there's tools follow me. So I'm going to select it and go to add a shortcut. And I'm going to make that shortcut Control F because I know that F already exists, and that's the offset tool. And I know that I don't want to make it M for me because it's move, and I use that a lot. Uh, it's not really efficient to make it two letters like F-O because you have to hit them at the same time or close to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and make it Control F and, and hit this plus key and then it'll be assigned. And that's all I have to do. I'm going to click OK. And now when I hit F I get the offset tool. If I hit Control F I get the follow me tool. M I get the move tool. Spacebar I get the selection tool, etc, etc. So now when I'm making, when I'm using the followed me tool, I can either hit control F and get that symbol and then grab, and then grab a, 
and then grab a surface and drag it along a path. Or I can select a path first, hit Control F and click on a surface and it will follow along that line. Now this is again very useful because in this specific project we're going to be doing a lot of follow me work and this probably isn't a shortcut I will remember but I will probably remember it the entire time I do this project because I'm going to be using it over and over and over again for a long period of time. So it's useful to add the short to be able to add shortcuts when you know that you're going to be using a tool again and again and again. And it's useful to use shortcuts on tools that you use a lot, like uh, select or spacebar, the move tool with the M key, and perhaps the rectangle tool or the push pull tool or something like that. This really just helps you get faster. Another thing that doesn't have a shortcut is the component key, is the, or the, is the component tool, which you could also make a shortcut for if you would like to. And that shortcut you can then use anytime that you need to make something a component. I find it easier. I haven't done that for myself because if I right click, make component is very close. So if you're not going to use a shortcut or remember a shortcut, you don't have to bother to make it. But if you want one, you can make one of your choosing. I again, I highly recommend that you use shortcuts because they make things faster. And triple clicking is kind of a shortcut, right? All right. Thank you, everybody.